Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chriselle, and today we're going to be continuing on with the Life is Strange True Colors. This is actually episode number four, so if you have not watched previous episodes, definitely go and check those ones out first. I'll actually leave the playlist link for this playthrough down in the description box, and all my social links will be down there as well. I'm super excited to jump back into the game today. I've been enjoying this game so much. I feel like I really like the pacing and the writing of everything in this game so far, which is just really nice because I have been a little bit 50-50 on past Life is Strange games, but this one has just been such a pleasure to play so far, and I just, I've been really enjoying just everything in it, so... <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying as well. Yes, anyways, as always, we will be streaming this live on Twitch, so if you see a little chat going by inside and I'm talking to people, that is why. Also, don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube and give this video a big thumbs up if you end up liking it. It really helps me out. But otherwise, let's just go ahead and jump right back into it. Chapter 4, Flicker. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Titan She's so for Gabe's cute. death and plenty more. Alright, bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Hell you. Citizens of Haven Spring, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over oh, to the yeah. flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. Ooh. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, Ooh. eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? <laughs> History is weird. Thankfully, uh. <laughs> we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special nice. someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And a better way to say, hey, look, a rose. Hey, look, a rose. Sounds All right. fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> Who are we giving Maybe it to, though? I can decide downstairs. Do I get to change my outfit? Ooh, as much as I like this outfit. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Okay, we got some booze here. I remember here. trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead. <laughs> Mood. Shrine. Happy Spring Festival, Gabe. Happy Spring Festival. Looks Can I like look the at the window? Is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. Pressed rose. Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? Someone probably gave it to him, right? Oh, there's an emotion attached to it. Joy? Charlotte? Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... Yeah. I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get Thank back to my you. butter churning and doilies. Sure. Hell yeah. You first. I like Charlotte. <laughs> I'm just saying you should probably pick between them and uh, stop leading them both on. I'm not leading them both on. I just love both of them, okay? <laughs> I just want to be with both of them. <laughs> yeah, God. this one ornament will really bring my tree together. String uh, lights? String lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places subreddit. Hell yeah! What are the chances your instruction manual <laughs> Shout is in Shout out to here? Reddit. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Okay, can I clean I'm this up? I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. Okay, but put it in the fridge if I you're gonna do that. I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. Hi, Shushu. Will you be my date to the festival, Shushu? Well, you have two other contenders, Alex. The world really doesn't deserve Feynor. Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better, and we have lots of plans for the summer. He said we could go camping and make ultra s'mores. S'mores, but with ice cream on top. Ooh, a secret family recipe. The LARP was amazing. You are a really good bard, and I hope I can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill your backstory. Banshees. Thanks, Alex. Ethan. Aww. Okay, good. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad he's glad to go with his father. They didn't really tell us much about the dads. So I wasn't sure what the relationship I'm was like. I'm ready to start my own list. Oh, right. This was Gabe's list. We already read this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get dressed first, just in case it locks me out. Alex is so fucking cute. Nice outfit. Oh. <laughs> Hot dog. Tiger. Okay. And kisses. I mean, I kind of like the all black, but also hot dog. This is more like comfy cute, but like if we're trying to like woo someone, pog dog wiener. <laughs> okay, fuck it. We'll go with the hot dog. 
Hell yeah. Who's not gonna be wooed when they see me rolling up in this, all right? Okay, let me grab my USB stick. Okay, time to head downstairs. <laughs> Sounds good. Can I do anything else in here? I don't think so. Should I go upstairs? I should really head down to the park. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if there would maybe be any like secrets down there, you know? My bard hat. Alexandra the bard will ride again. Hell yeah. Why don't you wear it to the festival? There's no notes from uh, Jed this time. Oh, I love those kinds of lights. Oh, so cute. Test, test. Oh my. Check, check. <laughs> Holy shit! You own a skirt? <laughs> hey guys, haven't I worn a skirt before? I thought. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. What about my hot dog shirt? <laughs> I got a hold of Pike. He'll <laughs> oh, be God, here soon. So awkward. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's uh, over for Titan. No, I haven't. Hence oh. The celebration. Leggings. I think oh, we've all okay. earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming oh, on God. soon. You'd better be front and center. Oh, is she gonna play? Need help setting up? Who's playing? Uh, yeah, you need, you need, uh, who's playing? Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. Oh, <gasps> is it Steph's band? I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Text me when it's ready. Oh, she's so cute. They're so cute. Everyone's so cute. <laughs> if I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Fuck, I have to anyway, pick between them, don't I? Time to enjoy the festival. Oh God. Okay, first of all, this is fucking beautiful. Hi, Ryan. Um, the lights are so fucking pretty. What the hell? Looking like a fucking hobbit birthday party. Jesus. I mean that in the best way. <laughs> okay. Let me check my phone first <laughs> before we get into it. Haven Springs, the spring festival has begun. First up, we have our annual chili cook-off and later we'll have live music, a jelly bean guest contestant. Oh, contest, contest, oh, <laughs> sorry. A jelly bean guessing contest and a raffle as well as food, drink, and a bonfire. Let's kick spring off right. Did I see apple bobbing? Was there apple bobbing? Do you think I get to apple bobbing? Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Steph, huge shout out to everyone who helped out with the LARP. I think we really helped boost Ethan's spirits and I had a great time too. I had a blast, we should definitely do it again. Splendid work, Stephanie. Is that what that was? Still banned. <laughs> KRCT Radio. Kind Haven listeners, we are now live at the Spring Festival. Swing by our trailer in the park to grab some raffle tickets and maybe win some merch. Ooh, I want to win some merch. Just make sure to stick around and keep your eyes on the main stage. We have a, something special brewing, wink wong. I feel a concert coming on. I want a fucking merch. Where did I have to go? Uh, swing by our trailer in the park. Okay, so I gotta go to their trailer. I've been minding. Happy Spring Festival, Haven Springs me. Thanks for letting us celebrate with you. <laughs> Butcher's <laughs> disabled replies. Yeah. Okay, I got some texts as well. Eleanor, are you joining us this evening, dear? Yes. This is one party I am willing to brave. I'll make it as painless as possible. Stev. Dude, thank you so much. You totally killed it. Award-winning bard material right there. Thanks, you're pretty amazing too, you know. Aw, shucks. <laughs> Ducky. Dear Alex, what a marvelous event. I'm so glad I could participate in today's live action roleplay. Brings me back to my days in theater. Did I ever tell you that I once assayed the role of foul staff in my school's production of The Merry Wives of Windsor? With enough liquid prodding, you may one day get me to recall a few verses. And thank you for including me in the festivities. It's nice to take my mind off things. Anyhow, you enjoy your very first spring festival. I can still remember mine clear as day. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Donkey. You are wonderful. And I've got two from Ethan. Hey, Alex. Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing, really. You are a badass. I don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad and, uh, and stay safe. Today the Spring Festival, wish I could be there, but at least I'm getting crazy good work done on the next Thanor comic. Hell yeah. Sweet, when's this next, uh, wh wh what's happening in this next issues? No spoilers, but Thanor finds a gate to the underworld and fights the King of Demons. Oh, snap. That sounds like a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page. Oh. <laughs> I do have a journal update. Uh, Ethan and Joy. 
I guess I'm used to feeling like the whole world changes when I take on someone's emotions. But what Ethan's joy did to Haven, the way it lasted the entire town and dragged it into his fantasy, I've never experienced anything like that. I actually felt Alex dissolve, slow off, and underneath was just Alexandra. It felt good to try on a different history to remember a different kind of life in a different world. But when the sirens came and Haven snapped back into focus, I don't think fantasy Alex could have done what I did. Ethan didn't need her, he needed me. That felt good. And then Charlotte with anger. Yeah, so Charlotte was really angry last time. Uh, we chose not to take on her anger though, so we'll see what happens with that today. Some anger blisters like old film stock stuck in a projector. It eats you up from the inside, melts away everything until all you are is a brittle shell and a boiling mass of blame and guilt. Makes some art supposed to help, right? But it doesn't. Just fills your shop with reminders of what a shitty person you are. Don't know how I knew I could do it. It was like I suddenly noticing an extra limb, somehow invisible until the very moment I thought to use it. I could reach inside, find Charlotte's anger, turn it down, turn it off. But I didn't. I could have, but I didn't. I didn't know what it would do to her, who she'd be after I took the pain away. It felt like such a violation. Hadn't she earned the right to be angry? True. Uh, I was so sure that I was helping people that whatever else I am, I could at least offer this one thing to those who needed it. But Charlotte's hurt is bigger than me, stronger. I have to hope that I can do more good by walking away than I could by meddling. Okay, so, uh, things to do, explore the festival and find the roses. So Hi, Eleanor. Where's the after party this year? After party? Glasses guy. Come on. Young man like yourself, you must know what the Habs is. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. Thinking of calling it a night soon. What? My I just got goodness. here, man. What is this town coming to? Oh, she's sad. It used to be that spring festival I just hope wasn't Riley complete is doing until right. everyone was either oh. asleep in the park what or in someone else's Yeah, bed. what happened to Riley? Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Maybe she Good found out. dear. Hi. What's up? Where's Riley? Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd mm -hmm. rather keep to herself tonight. Okay. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. I mean, clearly. We drinking later? Uh, we drinking later? So. We doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots. <laughs> Who's going first? Uh, not me. Uh, just kidding. I'll leave that to you and to you and glasses guy. Or am I? <laughs> On what? <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been it's a so huge pretty. amount of work. It's worth Hell it. Yeah. I better get going. All right, later, Eleanor. Enjoy your night. Thank you. You too. Has her mood changed? Nah, she's still sad, boy. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. What is this? Ice luge? Luke? What is that? Oh, hi, Steph. <laughs> uh, Steph is just awesome. Maybe I could give a rose to her. Oh, yeah, because she does the, um... She does the uh, radio, I forgot. Right, right. Oh, there is apple bobbing. Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Sure you are, Alex. Just stick your head in there. What? I want to bob for some fucking apples. Oh, there's feelings on this. Oh. Who's memory? Yeah. Hey, thanks. Uh, Izzy. Man, this show rules. It's, uh, it's something. Anyway, I'm Izzy. That's Steph. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. So shy. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. <laughs> Wish I could have seen drugstore makeup play. Maybe you will tonight. Ooh, I wonder if we get to meet Izzy actually. 232. 233. Jelly bean counter. 234. Oh, he's sad. This game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I can help him somehow. I've never seen anyone so focused on a jelly bean. Oh jar. no, he's starting. He's trying to actually count. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. Hey, you were the black taking this right? jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. 
Ooh, that's Chrissy's pretty nice. She's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Chrissy's a dog. Really embarrassing. Okay. Saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. That is very Maybe sweet. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? Hell yeah, I am. How many jelly beans do you think there are? Uh, there's. Oh god. Uh, three hundred, eight hundred. Can I, can I do something to, to count? Can I, oh god. That looks like 300, right? Uh, I'm running out of time. Okay, let's do 300. 300. Fuck it. Ish. I'ma guess it. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. Oh, is she gonna do the 300? Oh no. This is impossible, right? Guess the number of jelly beans win a prize. Uh, I think you pour a shot down the top uh, and the ice chills on its way down uh, where you hold another shot glass to catch it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was the, the, the ice thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Interesting. Check ladies' emotions. She might know. Yeah, I should have done that before. She's happy. 300. What a nitwit. <laughs> Not even close. I was that oh. far off? Maybe I should say something before he guesses wrong. Also, the hell is your problem, lady? <laughs> I'm on to you, jelly bean lady. <laughs> ayo, ayo. Hey, I've got another guess. It's 800. Yeah. It's 800. I was wrong. Oh, 200? 700. 700 I think then. It's closer to 700. Yeah. yeah. 700 feels right. Yeah. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. <laughs> She's scared hey, now. They're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes. Your secret's mine. Hell yes. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. <laughs> 731 jelly beans. That's. That's correct. Hell yeah, dude. Yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for your help. You rule. Thanks, man. No sweat. Get your pupper some good treats. Best spring fest ever. <laughs> and so peace returned to the jelly bean so kingdom. So sweet. Thanks again. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, that was fun. Ooh, look at these drinks, though. What is that? Fruit fusion? Ginger ale? Tub of beer? This thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. I mean, I'm sure you're fine to drink. Diorama. Ooh. Oh, is this a. Uh, this is Haven Springs. Wow. This is a beautiful model. Wow. Who made it? I wonder. <gasps> Hi, Jed. How are you it feeling? Last year. Yep. I remember. Wait, I want to hear. Day. Probably around 10. Excuse me. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. <laughs> and Sorry, I didn't think that would drunk as a skunk boy. <laughs> and I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Mm -hmm, Despite mm -hmm. my occupation, mm -hmm. Spring Fest is different from the Lantern. We all agree. Racing out of the <laughs> it's diner. It's been a hell of a month. Pulled over a couple but of tables along the way. Makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this mm. town so much. It's inspiring. I love Jed. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. I should have self in there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Pardon I see me. I'm hauling ass toward the dock. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I see him hauling ass toward the dock. <laughs> I just had to. I, I just had to. After. Oh, Jesus got a message from bitch. Diane. Hi, Alex. Wanted to wish you a wonderful spring festival. Unfortunately, I have to work through it this year, but I really appreciated our conversation earlier today. It's great getting to know you better. Thanks, Diane. The feeling is mutual. Smiley. Uh, let's I see. Riley. Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. I really wanted I to take it. I haven't seen her around. I'm sorry. Where is she? I just really wanted to take a second to say how wonderful Haven really is. Nights like this always remind me how lucky I am to call this place home. No other place will ever come close. You're not so bad yourself. Oh. Haven Springs, the Jelly Bean Guessing Contest has ended. Congrats to our winner, Hector. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. I thought it was going on till midnight. Normally, yes, but we had a perfect guess. No way, someone actually won it this time. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's been, what, four years? I think five. Hell yeah, Alex. Breaking records? 
Not the deflated jump fucking, what is this called? Moon bounce castle thing? Oh, 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 anxious boy and anxious girl. Was this the cute couple that I saw? Was this the cute couple I saw in the alley? Oh, they're both so scared. Should I not have worn cologne? Is let me, let me. Try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Or maybe it's the total lack of No, you smell pretty good. How about you, anxious girl? Crap. <laughs> Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? Aw. Look at the hang of this one day. Or Let not. me help you. Let me help you, please. I just... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Fuck. I've got some time to kill. Might as well wander around and be social. I am wandering. I just... I just... Fuck, I want to set them up so bad. I swear, if they don't let me set them up, I'm going to be so sad. Where there is beer, there are builders. <laughs> oh, someone here then. Where's the builders? Oh, it's so cute though. I love the fucking lights. Oh, let us wander on over here. I love that the radio station broadcasts oh, live from the park. Right? This it almost makes you feel like a tiny Coachella. Awesome! <laughs> Favorite time Super of the year, by far. <laughs> that kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. Cute. What, no marshmallows? Come on. Come on. Can I sit with you? Cities? Nice <laughs> outfit, Alex. <laughs> so this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Oh, yeah, I have to get a rose later. I just don't know if once I grab the rose, yep. if I'll be locked in or not. Oh, I get it. So cute. All right. Maybe I'll go talk to him. Maybe I'll go talk to him after. He's dead. He's dead. How's it going, Steph? I don't know who I want to go with. I feel like Steph is so cool. But like, I feel like I really like Ryan a lot, you know? What? I didn't open this, did I? Oh, um, Leith Flowers. Looks like we're getting down to our last basket of roses. If you haven't gotten one to your a special someone, now is your chance. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta do that now. Um, I love the suggestion. always brings out the best people, best in the people you love. You loved it. Thanks again, Eleanor. They look so good. Oh, Is it live music time? Kind of haven listeners, start making your way over to the stage. Make sure you get a good spot. Oh, fuck. I gotta Sounds do this like now. Ryan's ready for me. I better head back. Ryan's ready for you? I need to do it. I need to do it. I need to do it. Take these. Take these. Give me one. I should have, I should have grabbed it as soon as it started. I kind of want to give it to, um... I kind of want to give it to Ryan because he was so sad that no, he's never gotten one before. I feel like Steph would like be like, oh, like, yeah, cool, thanks. But like, I feel like, I feel like. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to talk to him first. Rose to Steph or Ryan before the show. Fuck. <sighs> Ryan's always been there for me. Should I give a rose to him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What what happens if what happens? Oh, I kind of want to give it to Ryan. Where'd she put the rose? Look. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel like whoever I pick here is my choice, right? Maybe not. Oh, okay. I'm giving it to Ryan. Ryan. I'm giving it to Ryan. I have something for you. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I wasn't mentally prepared for that at all. <laughs> he was so sad that he's wow. never gotten a rose. Well, thank you. <laughs> so cute. You're welcome. Actually, I've got something for you too. Oh? Think we could meet up after the show? Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, this is pretty much set. Um, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Who's playing? Yours truly. Hell yeah, Seriously? I fucking knew it. I want to meet Izzy. Well, wait. Who else? You? 
Is he? Steph. Oh, it's totally her. <laughs> Who else is playing? <laughs> I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out. <laughs> I love her. I, I absolutely would wuss. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? <laughs> Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. Oh this my god, they're both awesome. so cute. Trust me. Oh, she's so adorable. I'm fucking same though. Oh my god. Um. We've never played together before, and. Uh... <laughs> anyway. Sorry if this sucks. You can make anything pretty if you stick flowers in it. <laughs> True. <laughs> Good quote. Fuck it. Fuck it! You go- oh fuck, he's so cute. Ooh, let's go! Oh, Alex is so cute in her fucking wiener shirt, I can't. Charlotte, how's it going? Uh, Charlotte, how's it going, buddy? I was horrible to you earlier. You really weren't. Really. Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were gonna be best friends. <laughs> mm. I wish. There's still time. Like, you had one bad day, it's not the end of the world. There's still time. Maybe. I guess we'll see. I'm on a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> Me too. It's okay. Hey. You okay? No. But... Well, you know. I'm gonna go home. Okay. She'll be okay. The song makes me cry every time. I know I had to skip it. I was gonna cry. <laughs> oh. oh, I got a message. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. hi, can you meet me on the rooftop? I want to show you something. Definitely be right there. <gasps> oh, okay, all right. Sounds like Ryan wants to meet me on the rooftop. All right, which rooftop? My rooftop? What if I wasn't done at the at the festival what though? What are you so happy about? Been a while since I seen you smile like that. It's that cake. That dragon-shaped ice cream cake. I feel like something clicked as soon as we thought of it. 
Hell as soon yeah. As you thought of it. Aww. I can't stop thinking about it. Could we do a castle shaped cake box? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, what if we did little swords instead of serving knives? Oh my god. We could do a LARP like ourselves as a promotion. It's a good idea. Ooh, what if we called our loyalty program experience points? Ooh, okay. I like Stick your niche. Full fantasy rebrand. Hell Forget yeah. Forget the avalanche thing. Dragons hoard ice cream. I, I would go there. You. I fucking but love you too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're ice cream geniuses. We run this shit. Keep Hell dancing, yeah. Ice cream lady. I love their energy. <laughs> Neighbors. Uh, happy Spring on. Festival, your neighbor your neighbors at Typhon Mining, a proud sponsor of 2019. Mm. I forgot they were sponsoring this. Uh okay, I wanna look I don't know if I can go back, I just wanna see. Back to the party. But I should get to the rooftop eventually. Freshest graffiti. That's sweet, but I think I'll avoid touching this bench. Just to be safe. Lauren and Shane. <laughs> What do you mean, Alex? <laughs> oh, I knew I missed something. Hey, Mac. Haven't seen Mac in a while. He seems no better off than before. Who? I heard the call. How's it going, Mac? And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So... What now? It looks I'm a little better Typhon now. Down. The whole hornet's nest. Hell yeah. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. True. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. Mm. Well, yeah, you can do better. Come on, Mac. Even you're too good to work for them. <laughs> but don't say it like that, it's even flattering you. flattering to see how much you care about me. <laughs> no wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. Oh, there's the back I know. <laughs> I... Ew, ew! Go away, Mac. Take I, it easy, dude. I regret my decision, Mac. You too. Mm, fucking weirdo. Alright. If anything... I did it so I could get with Riley, all right? Nervous couples got together? Did they? Wait, really? Where? Oh, was this the bench that the nervous couple was sitting on? That was their name. So they did get together then. Unless they were different people. Oh, I hope that was them. That's so cute. Okay, oh, hi, writer so boyfriend. There's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Mm -hmm. Sets out to find her missing sister who was abducted years ago by a guild of warlocks. Go on. Along the way, she picks up mercenaries, the kind she never expected to be friends with. Elf criminal, undead priest. Oh. They find the sister. The sister so is happy. now the high warlock of the guild. She's threatening the entire kingdom with her magical shit. <laughs> and they got it to you, Steph. Thanks right. for helping me find the I fun again. Sounds like mm -hmm. Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. Hell yeah. Everyone's so right. fucking oh, excited about the LARP. Okay, I think that's it now. The Spring Fest is pretty cool, but I should probably head up to the rooftop. I'm going on my way. I want to take a look at everything on the way, of course. I don't think there's a timer on it or anything, so. Grand opening tomorrow. <gasps> oh yeah, the diner by. I'm glad someone's opening the diner again. Oh, he's scared. Gotta pull my shit together for this Just grand opening. Come introduce These yourself. people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. True. I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just oh. tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right. Mm. Alex Chen. Alex Chen. Didn't we speak already tonight? No, nope. bud. Stupid, so stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town, I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. Hubris. You, know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh. Well, that's a good idea. That is a good Best idea. Good luck. Good luck. Nice. 
Grand reopening. Small town diner win. Brown Bear Diner is returning under new management next month. We look forward to serving you. Hey, bald boy. Are you serious? How are you doing? Right He's locked out. Boot. A fucking boot <gasps> on oh, my car. <laughs> Too bad I can't unlock doors with my emotions. Because we have to celebrate a bunch of fucking flowers. Whoa, dude. <sighs> One, two, three. I control me. Oh, One, buddy. Two, fuck. You control shit. Oof, sorry, man. We've all been there. <laughs> you can't catch a break, man. For you. Okay. Is there anything else I can do while I'm in town? Oh. <gasps> Hello. The LARP oh, was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Do you think you're hungry? I still like her so much. Are you hungry? What do I do? Sorry, <gasps> man. Oh! Forbidden love. This is the couple we saw in the alley. The other two were different Not people. Really. But that's nice of you. Oh! Right. Cool. Different. Oh, God, you're so awkward, dude. Don't ever. Cool. I want to set them up! Okay, okay, so it's two different couples, two different awkward couples. We got the, the the shy ones and the anxious ones. Okay, there's a sign here. Even Steph's signs are badass. Closed, if you need music, come watch me at the fest uh, festival tonight, Steph. All right, well, there's a sign here too. Rose taken and delivered. God uh, help me. <laughs> we are closed this evening uh, in celebration of the annual spring festival. Please visit our cart at the festival grounds for a rose for someone special. Still yours, Eleanor. How about you guys? Chad? I have a surprise for you. <gasps> Good surprise or bad surprise? These are the video game people. I started a farm in Moondrop Ranch. Ooh, Get out! Hell yeah! I didn't expect the that him playing my favorite game would be a turn on. I'll but be real with you here right now. we are. <laughs> Game is sick. <laughs> I love you. Wait, is someone standing out past the bridge of flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Yeah. Who's that? Hot dog man sticker. What do you mean you don't get it? That's he's on your shirt, Alex. Oh, it's Riley. Hi, Riley. Well, I've never been this far. Oh, she leaving. Here I am, just waiting at the bus stop, about to change my entire life. I've been there. Oh. There she is. Looks like she's packed and ready. Oh, she's hey, going Riley. to school, right? Oh, hi, Alex. What are you doing out here? Looking for just you, girl. Out for a walk. You? My bus comes tonight, and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. Why? I get that. Go say bye. I'm really gonna miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. <laughs> I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but oh, sometimes she... I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Probably shouldn't. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret, but I feel like Riley would want to know. No. What should I do? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Keep Eleanor's confidence. Tell Riley about Eleanor. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, honestly, I really feel like I should tell her because I feel like it's fucked up not to tell her. But I feel like I'm going to kill her happy mood if I tell her. Oh, that sucks. I got to tell her. I got to tell her. If she's leaving tonight, I got to tell her. Riley, I think there's something you should know. It's kind of a long story, God. but I found out that Eleanor has Alzheimer's. I'm sorry. I know it's a lot to take in. God. I had my suspicions, but... I, I need to go home and talk to Nana about this. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alex. I'm sure it wasn't easy to tell me this. Yeah. Sure. Good luck. 
Oh no, it's gonna be upsetty. I feel like she's gotta know. You know? She, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right decision. I just feel like she has to know. I don't want her to feel like she has to stay by any means. But I feel like she should at least leave her with like better help so that she's not like struggling or something. Riley would feel so bad to find out she could have done something before going. Yeah, I agree. I feel like, I don't know. Because at least it gives her the opportunity to make sure that she's taken care of while she's at school. All right, let's go in. Hello? Anybody home? Uh, Jed's crown. Oh. It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. Yeah. Oh, they even got little little spring flowers in here as well. It's cute. Uh, fancy new Jed bourbon. Jed this is a treat for the regulars. And himself, I'm guessing. <laughs> Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Well the played, menu. kitchen staff. Today's special is plain hamburger. Cut me some slack spring festival tonight. Fair enough. Uh, coffee Odds maker? Odds are pretty good. I'm grabbing a cup later tonight. Why not right now? Bring, uh, bring Ryan some for you. Oh, hi, Ducky. Why are you in here alone? Why are you it's sad? It's the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha. Aww. Sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. I wonder yeah. who Tabitha is. Hey, hey Ducky. Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Okay. Okay, let's sponge. Sad boy hours. Oh, is this like with the bar? Tell me what I need to know to help him. Okay. Why is the bear sad too? You know, I carved that myself. Do oh, hi. Know? I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Tabs. Oh, this table has some feels. Wait, this is wait. Theirs. Don't drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Ducky, it's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Oh, Tabitha was his wife. Oh, the jukebox has some feels as well. Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky. Oh. You're going to outlast this whole damn town. Mm. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. Maybe I can, like, ask him about the song? Hey, Ducky. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest. That's right. Um, wooden bear? Did you actually carve that wooden bear? Brana? <laughs> sure <laughs> did. That was a long time ago. Mm, spring festival? The spring festival must have been important to you two. Indeed. We were married at the festival. Oh. We both loved it so much. That's cute. Tabby thought. You met Tabitha here, didn't you? In the lantern. Yes, I did. Being here on that night was the luckiest I've ever been. Dance. Give me one sec. 
Are we gonna put this on? Hell yeah, we are. How did you? They're playing your song. Let's dance. So wholesome. Oh, ducky. I can't even imagine like losing your partner of like 30 years. I feel like they would be so intertwined with your entire life by that point that like, I don't know. You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. And that was Tabs. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very oh, welcome. Ducky. Enjoy the festival. Have fun. Oh, ducky. All right, let's go upstairs. No more sad vibes. Dude, my emotions are being brought all over the place today. <laughs> go get your man. Hello? Oh, it's so cute up here too. All the lights, dude. The fucking lights in your fucking hot dog shirt. He fixed the garden. That's so cute. It, it, it's a tree. I, <laughs> I can see. Thank that. you, wilderness <laughs> expert. I was more wondering why. He's so proud of his tree. <laughs> My mom used to get insomnia when I was a kid. Hey, old saying. She but me. Drive over here to the lantern. <laughs> Three in the morning to work in the garden. Huh? Sometimes she'd take me with her. That's sweet. It's always been a special place for me. I hope it can be for you too. I mean, I live here, so it's pretty, pretty special. I should have been taking better care of it. <sighs> Come on. You've had other stuff to worry about. Totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. <laughs> Thanks for everything. I had fun. And so did the audience. You know they're gonna make you do it again next year, right? Hell yeah, I'm down. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. You, you good? Yeah, fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> mm. Okay. So let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. Mm. The ride. Mm. On ice. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Close your eyes. Ooh, 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 why? <laughs> It's morning. <laughs> Chilly. You can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? Oh, the Black Lantern, the record store. Oh. Mm, yeah, I think she would have fun at the record store. Definitely more. the record shop. Oh, I'm sure Steph will appreciate that. Before you ruthlessly push her out and take her job, that is. <laughs> so after work. Sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. He's so pretty. <laughs> What's the plan? Play guitar. Hike. Mm, Alex doesn't seem like a hiker. Play guitar. Sit right here on the roof. Well, she would probably go for hikes, but... Smart. Stay in practice. Only a few more months till the next Springfest. 
Anyway, someone's at the door. Knock, knock, who is it? Who? Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. <laughs> he walks up to you in an extremely cool way. His plaid <laughs> jacket swaying in the breeze. Dork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life, but if you decide you wanted to put down roots, Haven Springs will always make space for you. Was that a gardening pun? <laughs> no. Maybe. <laughs> so fucking cute. I can't. I... I really care about you, Alex. A lot. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. <laughs> kissies, 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 kissies. Oh, why are you Come on, scared? dummy, kiss her. Kiss her. <laughs> this is too wholesome, stop. I really want to kiss you right now. Thank you. Oh my, that's so cheesy. Save me one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll see you down there. Go with him, Alex. What the fuck? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Stop. S Stop. That was so cute. <laughs> How are you doing, Alex? How are you feeling after that one? <laughs> USB. Hey, Gabe. Hmm. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Something's bad gonna happen, I know it. I can feel it. Everything is way too fucking wholesome. I don't know what's um, gonna happen, but... Also... I kissed Ryan, so that happened. <laughs> Man, you know what? I came into this thinking I was I was really gonna pick Steph. I I was so fucking sure of it. But Ryan is so fucking cute. He's such a fucking dork. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help. I love them both. I want to be with them both. God damn it. I wish I could pick both. <laughs> All right, where do we where are we off to now? All right, Alex. Pike. Do you have the USB drive? Mm -hmm. I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover up. Oh. You need to come with me to the station. Oh, you're going to betray us, aren't you? Alex? Don't make this hard. 
Oh, what? I really hope we made a fucking a second copy of that. I swear to God. Pike works for them, doesn't he? Yeah, technically. Yeah. I mean, technically everyone in this fucking town works for them, right? In some way or another. Oh, I hope we made an extra copy. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Yep. Coffee? Coffee, <laughs> how about a beer? Yeah, coffee's fine. Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Oh my god, bro. Uh, <laughs> why am I here? Yeah. Please enlighten me. The long and short of it is Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. Oh my god. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Mm. Sorry, Alex. Something smells sussy. Yeah, I have evidence. Yeah, order from who? The order Typhon? came down today from who? High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job to know. Oh, Pike. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. Could be true, but let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Hmm. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. I just matter. handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. What's computer That's a fraud? Fraud crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. Mm. Okay, and how much is it for fucking murder, though? Fuck Diane. You know what? <laughs> Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. <laughs> it's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her. And despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. Hmm. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Legally, the USB uh, would not hold in court. Really? That's so dumb. Yeah, doesn't this mean she's guilty? She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, Mac the only would have to is inadmissible. Mac would have to say something. I think you should do it. It's got to be Fuck Mac. That. He's the only witness. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Oh no, we're gonna get him in trouble too. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, <gasps> please, just sign the form and we can both go he back to the He wants to, he wants no. to, but he can't. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No, it's not an option. Oh, he's scared. 
Not mad. Scared. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? First, I want to read him. Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Uh, Pike's ask for a lawyer. Shaken. True. Uh, let me look at that the David first. Just like they offered Charlotte. Fuck me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, Typhoon, the mining company, hereby referred to as the releaser, agrees to drop all charges against Alexandra Chen, uh, hereby referred to as the leasee. Charges to be dropped, one federal count of computer fraud under USC 1030A2C, one state count theft under CRS 1844011A. In exchange for the release, must cease and desist all efforts to defame, uh, surveil, and otherwise harm the release. Okay. What's in the envelope? Typhoon mining security. Threat evacu oh, oh, evaluation. Is that a photo of her? At the bar? Chen Alexandra. Brother Gabriel Chen died in an accident related to Typhoon mining blast. Assessment intel shows the subject has a high level of determination and efficiency. Oh, efficiency? Efficiency? Negative effect has persisted beyond predicted be bereavement. Suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and information. That was like, that's from her house, isn't it? HNB, Private Investigation Services. Alexander Chen, threat assessment from basically the whole month, began following the subject after meeting with Mac Luden. A subject met with a man identified as Ryan Lucan. Little else of note. Subject spent three hours in apartment. Wi-Fi screen monitoring revealed searches into Typhon's history and legal Legal litigation records. Subject met and spoke with client in the Black Lantern. Your subject has stolen an object from the client. Typing mining security threat evaluation. Ryan Lucan. Oh, uh, assisting Alexandra Chen with her efforts against Typhon. Involved in an extremely distraught over accident. Subject has high level of knowledge of both geography and residence in Haven. Oh no, they're threatening everyone, not just me. Yeah, they've been watching me just like Mac. Hmm. Gingrich Stephanie. Assisting Alexandra Chen in her efforts has proven resourceful and dangerous. Wow. Okay. Is so they're threat? threatening everyone we care about. What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Mm. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the yeah, hard way. Yeah, I believe you. That it's not possible they're too big too connected too ruthless it's gotta be mac it's gotta be mac who does it you can hate me if you want call me a coward but i don't want to lose you like we lost gabe pike is terrified of typhon i bet if i took his fear away oh no but it's not just about me yeah Steph and ryan are in danger too I want to hurt Typhon so bad, but can I really put their lives at risk oh, along with mine? God. Uh, don't make me decide. Fuck. No, I don't know what's right to do here. Sign off the David or risk taking Pike's fear. I didn't take Charlotte's anger, so... I I shouldn't take Pike's fear because not only, I mean, first of all, not only would it fuck up Alex's life, it, all, it would also fuck up Steph, Ryan, and probably Pike's as well. One of the reasons that I didn't take Charlotte's was because she already proved that she can't handle anger well, but she did handle fear better. Oh no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, 
if the, if the evidence on the USB wouldn't hold up in a court anyways, even if I took his fear and he wanted to do something about it, like, would that even change anything? Oh, fuck, I'm gonna take it. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, what I shouldn't. What's your wife over this? Gay Mac Alex? Who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just keep your head down, dummy. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Mm. Let them get killed. Not you. May prompt him to reopen the investigation? If he can, I maybe. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Oh God, for Gabe. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Oh, Pike, this Fuck. feels so manipulative. I'll think about it. Thank you, Pike. Thank you. Oh, God. Get the hell out of here. Oh, this really? is so risky. This is so risky. I swear, Alex. I'm... Fuck, I'm, I'm scared now. Be careful. Thanks, Pike. He could get in so much shit for this. Oh, God. I don't want him to get in trouble either. I don't want to get him killed. I feel like this might have a uh, better long-term effects. Probably. Oh, do we have another note? Is it from Jed? Alex, come see when me when you get the chance, Jed. All right. Oh God. Oh, that's so fucked. Those I hope. Pictures. How long have they been watching us? Yeah. And what will they do if? They've been watching it a long time. Oh god, the fear. Not this, the fear. Oh god, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Happy streaming. Oh, thank you. Have a good night. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken I have on no his idea fear. What to do next. Oh god. Maybe but talking she... to Jed will help me feel better. Maybe. She handles fear way better than she does anger. But like, oh First, god, man. I need to get out of this dress. <laughs> what a fucking mood. Alright. Oh god, I got some messages. Let's see. Um, uh, my block. Let's see what I miss, what I miss. Okay. That rock. Oh. Admit, this is a pretty great feeling. That's a cute photo. That was something else. Steph, Alex, Bravo. Wow, wow, wow. Thanks. We had a blast. Totally starstruck. <laughs> I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. Turned out to be she a great spring life. festival after all. Really good to see you out there this year, Duck. It's certainly a new a time for a new beginning. That's spirit, Ducky. Aww. I'll treasure it too, Ryan. Enjoy that ice cream. Avalanche ice cream. Sadly, the spring festival is over, but the fun continues at Avalanche ice cream. Share your favorite memory from the festival in the comments and get a scoop on us. I liked when Josh burned his mouth on the chili. I didn't. Better get a free scoop on that uh, uh, burn step. I shared a moment with someone very special and connected with her in a way that I will treasure forever. You're so cute, Ryan. Okay, damn, dude. I think you deserve two scoops for that one. Well, give me a scoop too. I'm involved. <laughs> okay, so I've got more uh, journal update as well. Ducky and sadness. I think sometimes we uh, make reserve space in our heads for particular people. The important ones, anyway. They become a part of us, so permanent and immutable that eventually you can't imagine what it would even be like, uh, what it would even mean to be who you are without them. And then one day, they're gone. And all that's left is the space you cleared for them in your head. And you're not sure how to do 
so much as breathe anymore. Maybe that's what it means to be haunted. Ducky doesn't know how to be Ducky without tabs. Part of him feels like he spent the years since her death doing an impression. His best recollection, recollection of who he used to be when she was still here. I think that when we dance, he remembered a little of who that person was. I think he could see a little of what Tab saw in him. Uh, Ryan and Joy. He was afraid at first. <laughs> I didn't even need to read him. One of my favorite things about Ryan is his utterly crap poker face. True. <laughs> kind of bonkers how you can be scared that you'll get what you hope for and scared that you won't at the same time. Weird too how when your hopes come true, they can still taste a little like fear. Just enough to make your heart pound in your chest and your brain feel like one of those electro balls they used to sell at the mall. He told me I should stay in Haven and when I looked down in onto the main street for a second, I couldn't imagine anywhere else in the world I would want more, want I would want to be more. He made me feel like I could become a part of this place, like I could be as much a part of Haven Springs as the mountains and the lakes in the spring festival. Like I deserve that too. Maybe I do. Pike and fear. There's the threat that keeps you awake at night, all vigilant and terrified, and there's the one that you don't even know exists so you sleep just fine. Guess which one is more likely to kill you? I thought I knew what Typhon was, but really I had no idea. Pike knew and it terrified him. The horror of the witness, the paralyzed audience strapped in and made to watch the same inevitable choreography performed again and again and again. What have you seen, Pike? Before gay, before me, what secrets do you have to keep and how long did you have to keep them for? I thought of Charlotte, how I could have swallowed her anger, how I didn't, how I don't know if that was the right call, but I knew sh that I needed a Pike on my side, so I did it. <laughs> I still don't know. I still don't know if that was the right choice, but... I don't know, man. Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> I yell this way, I say it myself every night. <laughs> that must be Ryan's. I guess the night wasn't all bad. Yeah, we had a really nice moment with Ryan. Let's get changed. Get dressed. Oh, comfy. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Hell yeah. Even Springs saber tooths. Comfy. Can I go upstairs? No, I can't. Okay. I just have to check, just in case. Let's get out of here. Here we go. Ooh, nice atmosphere. I love the fucking aesthetic of this place. It's so hey, nice. Dad. He did. There she is. Have a seat. Thanks. How's it going? Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. Yeah, I kissed your son. Sorry about that. You saw Pike arrest me. Oh. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. <laughs> I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Um. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Couldn't this implicate him too? Take a shot. Typhon threatened Ryan. Oh. Typhon killed Gabe? I don't know why that's an option, but it got, I'm very curious. Should I tell him though? Because if I tell him, couldn't that get him in trouble as well? Like pretty much everyone that I've talked to about this was on that Alpha David. I'm gonna take a shot. Fuck it. I'm gonna be mysterious. Take a shot. I do like, oh, oh, I can do all three. I see. Okay, well, then I'll tell him about Ryan. Fuck it. I've been chasing proof that Typhon was responsible for Gabe's death. And I found out they buried something. A secret. <laughs> All of the above. For now real. they're threatening me. And Steph. What does that look? And Ryan. Threatened? Do you know about this? How? Pike showed me photos. He might know, actually. Typhon's been watching us. Because he worked in that old mine, right? Maybe he knows what's down there. I'm not giving up, Jed. Not ever. Or maybe he knows why they're threatening. Mm. 
You got real shifty eyes, Jed. I know. You want to say hiding. something? Oh, I knew it. Why are they hiding? What is it? Yeah, what is it you knew? Wait. You're telling me you knew that Typhon's crooked? This whole time? I mean, everyone knows they're crooked. That's not what I thought that was going to be. Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. Hell yeah, Jed. Fuck them. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. What is it? Is it a who? I'll do one better. I'll show you. Hey, oh, okay. Let's go, Jed. Please don't bury me down there as well. That would be a... Uh... Don't get rid of me, please. No, I trust Jed. I trust there, Jed. Don't I? I don't know. I trust Where Jed. Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. Please don't be a secret evil guy. What is this thing? What is that sound? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth God, I under hope Haven. Not. I love Jed. He he did what have some shifty for eyes is though. Down below. What? Well, Hmm. Don't push me in. Don't push me in. Don't push me in. I have trust issues. All the games I played, I have fucking trust issues. Oh, you got his vibes. Why are you sad? No, not like this. Fuck. What's happening? Jed. What are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. Oh. The Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. Oh, I think I know, sort of. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. <gasps> huh? What? No fucking way. No fucking way. No way she's dead. No fucking way. What? Don't fucking end the episode. Oh, you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. What? I'm so fucking confused right now. I'm so confused. What does that mean? Does that mean she's dead? Did I like fuck up? I'm so confused. Okay. Okay. So my thoughts, my thoughts that I was having when he was saying that was like, so the, the first major thing we learned about Jed was that he was like this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Like he was like put on a pedestal basically for saving a bunch of lives in the mine when it had collapsed or whatever. So I'm wondering if, I don't know if like he was the one who caused the collapse or maybe he like left somebody down there or maybe he was, maybe, maybe I don't know, like maybe he was helping them to bury something else or whatever and he, I don't know, I feel like he must have like left somebody down in the mines or maybe like got his team out but like let the rest of them die so I don't fucking know. There's, there's something to do with that because he's been like made out to be this really like perfect good guy, like this perfect hero this whole time. So like how the fuck, I don't under- I'm so confused. I'm so confused. But also like there's no way Alex is dead, right? Like she's like the main- like who would you- like you- they wouldn't make us play as somebody else for the last chapter, right? There's no way. Only one way to find out on a part of five. Okay.
Pika let Alex go after she removed his fear. 70% of people did that. Okay, 28% gave their rose to Ryan. 70% uh, Alex had a nice moment by the bonfire. 72% uh, Alex didn't sit on the couch. Oh, I didn't even know you could. Okay, so the other option is Alex took a minute to reflect before talking with Jed. Oh, I should have done that. I didn't, I didn't even realize I could do that. 28% Steph didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Oh, okay, so the other options. So if you picked Steph, I guess. Steph and Alex mused about moving to Berlin moving to Salem. Ooh, Salem. Uh, or moving to the ocean. Okay. And then 29% Steph didn't meet Alex on the rooftop, so the other option would be that you either kiss or hug her as well. 9% Ryan and Alex mused about her working in the record store. Really? Only 9%? I, oh, okay, so 19% uh, was about working at the Black Lantern. And then 72% didn't meet, meet him on the roof. 27% uh, Ryan and Alex shared a kiss. 1% Ryan and Alex hugged. That fucking 1% is the people who chose to give him the rose because they felt bad because they know had never gotten a rose before, but actually wanted to go with Steph. I bet you. I fucking bet you. Same with the fucking 3% for Steph. I bet you they thought. And then 72% uh, Ryan didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Alex and Charlotte shared a bittersweet moment in the festival, 49%. 19% um, Alex revealed Eleanor's illness and Riley stayed. Oh, okay. Um, so a different 19% went to college uh, or decided not to go to school. Oh, oh, actually, you know what? I bet the 16% for deciding not to go to school was actually if Riley had found out earlier that she had Alzheimer's. 46% Alex didn't find Riley at the bus stop. Oh, okay. Um, that's fair. It was kind of like all the way at the end of the street where there was like not really much going on. Ducky joined the festival after uh, dancing with Alex, 18%. 82% didn't use her power with Ducky. Oh really? Oh, they might have not seen her there because if you're focused on going up to the roof to meet whoever, you probably wouldn't even... The only reason I went was because I feel like I just like to find everything in these types of games when I can. 77% Alex helped the jelly bean counter win the contest. Hell yeah. 48% uh, Alex helped the diner buyer with his my block post. 54% Alex didn't help them admit their feelings. What do you mean? No, so there was a chance that I could have helped them admit their feelings? No, what? You could have, you could have got them together. I'm so sad. I've been looking for that the whole time. There was no prompt though. What do you mean? Oh, that's the fucking, that's the worst travesty of this episode. But how, right? Like I looked too. Fuck dude, I can't believe I didn't help them admit their feelings. I know that's like the smallest part of this fucking chapter, but like that, I'm so sad. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is going to be it for chapter four of Life is Strange True Colors. As always, if you'd like to continue watching, I'll be sure to leave the playlist link for this playthrough down in the description box, and all of my social links will be down there as well. All right, so a lot happened in today's episode, and obviously, I think the two main things was uh, the whole picking between Steph and Ryan for a romance option, and then obviously, like, the big cliffhanger at the very end. So I kind of want to talk about the romance option first, just because um, I feel like that's been such a <laughs> big focus. I feel like some people might be a little bit upset that I picked Ryan instead of Steph and if you've been watching this far you know that it's not because I don't like Steph. I love Steph. Steph is chef's kiss. Like honestly the fucking audacity of this game <laughs> to give us literally like the the cool hot but also nerdy and like super sweet girl character versus like the the super fucking dorky nerdy like soft sweet golden retriever boy is like Fuck y'all, like honestly, to make you pick between them, I fucking hate it, but also I love it, but like god fucking damn it. But anyways, yes, obviously I ended up picking Ryan in the end, and I think that's mainly just because um, I feel like they had more connection slash chemistry throughout the game. I don't know, I feel like we just got honestly to share a lot more moments with Ryan as well, so maybe that kind of swayed my opinion of it as well, but I don't know, I, I really liked their interactions, and also Ryan's just like super fucking cute like dorky nerd, and like that's like just a bit of a soft spot for me and obviously Steph is also a dorky nerd in her own right as well but like honestly I would have been I would have been fucking happy with either of them because they're both just lovely if I could have picked both of them then I would have now on the completely different topic which was the cliffhanger of this episode the end of this episode I was really not expecting it to be Jed because Jed has been such a lovely presence the whole game and <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm very, I'm very conflicted because like I love Jed. Like he's been, he's been so comforting and like supportive of Alex this entire fucking game. So genuinely just nice, which maybe, maybe it wasn't so genuine after all. I don't really know. Like he literally gave us a job, a place to live, constant support notes and stuff. And like, I don't know, he's very, very sweet and like kind to the entire game. And so like, uh, maybe I should have expected it because he was being so, so nice. I'm honestly like a little bit disappointed in myself that I didn't pick up that it was him earlier because they literally gave us the red flag of like, he played the villain in the LARP, which I literally did not think twice about. I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's funny because he's like the nice, the nicest fucking character here probably. And like, they're giving him this big bad guy sort of role. And so like, yeah, that's like really fun for him to be able to play and stuff like that, which obviously was the game trying to hint to us that like, he's the big bad villain. Um, I did not pick up on it at all. <laughs> but like, yeah, um, really it was like the, the red lighting when we walked downstairs and then the shifty eyes. And I still didn't somehow think that he was going to be the bad guy until we had left. I'm like, okay, okay, I, okay, sussy, sussy baka. Okay, I get it. So yeah, I'm very interested to see where they're going to lead all of this in the next episode. I feel like Alex is going to be fine. My initial shock factor was like, oh fuck, Alex just died because it literally looked like he shot her in the head. So uh, my, my thought is that she's fucking dead. And then she obviously fell down the mine as well. My, very quickly, my cogs started turning. I'm like, that wouldn't make any sense for them to make us play as a different character on the last chapter. At least I don't think so. Um, <laughs> it'd be very strange if they did. Uh, but yeah, so I feel like she's going to be fine. She's probably going to be very injured. But anyways, yes, I'm very excited to see how they're going to wrap everything up in the next episode. So again, playlist link will be down in the description box. But otherwise, that is going to be it for me tonight. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Give this video a big thumbs up if you end up liking it. it helps me out a lot. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the finale, episode five. Okay, goodbye.